Hi, Scott with FDJTool.com, and I want to show you our largest butane torch, the Jumbo Max Flame. A very handy torch, great for soldering or metal clay work. This big tank will hold enough butane for 90 minutes of burn time. The flame will produce temperatures up to 2500 degrees. But before I show you any of the features, we're going to have to fill it up. To fill the Jumbo Max Flame, we're going to do it basically the same way you do uh, any other butane torch. You need to get yourself some good quality butane. We use Ultratane here, but as long as you use some sort of good quality triple refined butane, you should be fine. Anything of a lesser quality will probably end up gumming up your torch and it's going to make it useless and that's not a good thing. But we need to do a couple of things to our torch real quick to get it ready. First, we need to take a look at our gas flow lever. This one has a lever on the side that forward is where the full flow of gas, backward is the less flow of gas. And you want to make sure that lever is all the way to the back. Then we're going to invert our torch, turn it upside down so that we have access to this brass nipple that's on the bottom here. Let me go ahead and take the base off so you can get a better view. It's got a hole in the bottom so you really don't have to take the base off in order to get the butane in, but I want you to get a good view of that. Take your butane and you're going to shake it up. See the butane's under pressure in this can and it's cold and by shaking it up you're getting, you're getting it ready to go into the canister. Here. That red nozzle on the bottom is what you put onto the brass nipple on the bottom of your butane torch. And when you put it on there, you want to put it on straight up and down, perpendicular like that. If you're at an angle or not quite on the nipple, it's going to tell you because you'll get a, you'll get a loud hiss. You might even see a wisp of vapor like that that tells you that you're not quite on the torch there. So you need to readjust it and make sure that it's straight up and down like that. So when you've got good contact, you're going to press down on the canister and you're going to hear the hiss of the butane filling up the torch tank. And when it's done, you will know because it will give you a little sputter of uh, butane to let you know if the tank's full, you need to stop. So let's go ahead and fill it up. So, it's a pretty big tank, so it might take a second here. Like so, it's going to take a lot. Well, that's going to be enough there. We're not going to fill up entirely because I just want to show you how to light it here. But when it would be completely full, like I said, you'll get a sputter. You'll see the almost of a splashing of a liquid and that you know it's not a leak. Just stop filling and put your butane away. And I do mean put it away. You don't want it anywhere on your work surface or any of the torches when you're doing your work. Go ahead and put the base back on. And now we're going to be ready to show you the features of this torch and light it. To light the Jumbo Max Flame, we're going to have to learn about a few of its features. The first feature is one you've already seen before, and that's the gas flow lever. When we filled it, we moved that gas flow lever all the way to the low position. Now we want to open it up so to allow a better flow of gas from the tank to the nozzle. Second thing we need to learn about is its safety feature. See this big red button in the back? That's what ignites the torch. But when you press on it, nothing happens. You can't even push it in. That's because of the safety feature built in. See if this torch gets into uh, the wrong hands, people that you don't want it to, to light the torch, they can't do it. But if you press down this little red lever underneath, that unlocks your ignition button, allowing you to go ahead and light the torch. Press the button in firmly and sharply till you hear the click. Push it all the way in like that. That's what I mean by firm and click. You got to do it all the way. You get a fantastic big flame like that, but when you let go of the button, it goes off. That's because of the other safety feature built into it, your continuous flow switch. So in the forward position, your torch won't stay on if you let go of the button, but by moving it backwards, you lock the ignition button into place, letting your torch burn, and you can take your thumb off the button and use it. So let's go ahead and light it and put it all the way on. Backwards, and there we go. Got a great big beautiful flame, fantastic for soldering, for, for metal clay work, like so. But by turning it around and then accessing our gas flow lever again, with it all the way on, we get that big beautiful flame. But by moving it backwards and reducing the flow of butane, you can get a much smaller flame for other kinds of work. Moving it forward gives you a great big flame. Now what I mean by great big flame, is let me go ahead and light our standard torch next to it. If you can see, that's a much bigger flame 
for those bigger jobs. That's pretty handy, don't you think? All right. The only other thing I should probably point out to you is on the side of the torch here, you've got these little silver lever here, and this is accesses the shutter valve that's inside the uh, torch behind the nozzle. And what that does is this valve is what allows the oxygen in the air to get to mix with the butane. With it spring-loaded, it's always in the on position, so it allows the maximum amount of air to get in there, producing a nice big uh, reducing flame like that. But by moving it forward, you're cutting off the flow of air to there, thus turning it into an oxidizing flame. And by letting go and letting it spring back, you get your reducing flame again. Now, depending on the job that you need to do, you might need a different flame, no problem. It's pretty easy just to grip it with one hand, thumb and forefinger like this, and move it forward and back as you need. Now, when you're done with your torch, simply turn it off by pushing the uh, continuous flow lever forward. It turns off your ignition button, your torch is off. Remember, your nozzle is very hot, so if you put it anywhere on your bench, just remember that. And if you're done completely with your torch, go ahead and turn your gas flow lever all the way back and put it safely away, and you're done. Couldn't think of an easier torch to use and a great versatile torch that produces a really big flame. And this is the Jumbo Max Flame, and my name is Scott with FDJTool.com.